everybody from YouTube. I am headed to Quebec with a load of white pine logs. Um, this is heavy. Just went through Carabasset Valley. Sugarloaf just went by on my left. This is some very hilly country out here. Uh, very, very pretty though. Just had a bunch of snow. I'll turn the camera around real quick. There's actually a huge mountain in front of me right now, but yeah, I'll get a video of him unloading logs and when I'm picking up 30 ton of pellets, I'm bringing it back to Maine. unload me right now as you just saw um, as soon as they get that all offloaded I already unstrapped it pulled over by the loader I gotta take all those stake posts off the side oh my god they're killing me uh, because I'm going to get a load of pellets and I think that is well, what time is it? 8.20 it's 27 minutes from here into Canada I'm already in Canada but um, I'll get those. Wow, but it's kind of rough there. We'll get those loaded. We'll head back. The uh, Canadian border I just went through was probably the smallest one I've ever seen. It was kind of funny to see it like that, but um, yeah, I'll get more here in a little bit. is a pellet manufacturer in Quebec. It seems a little disorganized. There's a nice sign right there that says where I need to go, except I don't see any people. There's a truck waiting right there, and there's a truck half loaded over there. I don't see any fork trucks. So raw material going up there. You can see that is actually a truck going up on a truck truck at Dumber, excuse me. Let's see, this stuff will come out of it here in a second. That's one of the ones you can leave your tractor on it, but most people don't because I've done it. Everything in your truck ends up in the back. You'll see a big charge come out here in just a second. Usually like three quarters of it all come out. There's a little 
was probably a little frozen. It's a little colder up here than it was when I left. Come on, where is it? Snow blowing around up here. Well, maybe it's not all going to come out in one charge. I lied. Come on. It's going to make a liar out of me. There it goes. So, anyways, trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. I've got um, two hours and 58 minutes left on my clock. Well, actually, i got two hours and 58 minutes before I need to take a break, and then I usually wouldn't ever have eight, nine, ten. Well, I'll have three hours after that. So I actually have six hours left on my clock right now. But All right, to be continued. So, like I said before, I'm at Energex Pellets up here in Quebec. Um, these little fork trucks they got are cool. They're articulating. They're not like what we have down in the States. They're like little articulating loaders with forks on them, which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't really figured out how to strap my load yet. I don't know if you can see that he's putting his dunnage. Yeah. I don't know what the point of that putting that on the side like that is. It looks like it's going to poke into the bags, but... I guess we'll see. I was kind of hoping the fork truck would come back over here so you could see it, but give me just a second. That must be a little bit newer of a one. This one over here is a little older looking. Cool looking little machine though. strapped together. That's not going to work with mine. I don't have that stuff, so. Now those guys are, well, one's all loaded. He's getting ready to leave. The other one's 90% loaded, but that's what 30 ton of pellet looks like. Oh, their phone call. I don't know who that is. Um, I forgot I was going to say that phone call distracted me, but it is, it's not, I shouldn't say it's cold, it's not that cold, it's windy up here, bad. Um, I went over to help that guy, he was on top of a, the pellets, you can see those boards in the very back, a little crooked, and his strap was caught under his trailer, I went over to help him, but he didn't speak English, so I don't really know what he said to me, these fork truck drivers don't speak English, nobody speaks English, everyone speaks freaking French. Um, the receiving girl in the office, his English was horrible. Oh, where's this guy going? But, alright, to be continued more. So, the pellets are buried over there, and I've been here, I don't even know, I'm going, it's close to two hours now. They're like plowing out in front of them, you think they'd have this stuff ready. I mean, there's trucks, there's three or four trucks behind me waiting. There's a guy over there trying to, I don't even know what he's doing. And then I got a loader and he's got, he's cleaning up, I don't know, senseless stuff that doesn't really matter right now. But eventually, hopefully, I'll get loaded. So I'm headed back. Shows me getting back around four o'clock. Um, as you can see, roads are not good. These are back roads in Maine. Oh, about an hour ago, I was on the back side of Sugarloaf. I don't know if anyone knows that is. Pretty famous skiing mountain. 
But uh, I'm trucking along about 40 miles an hour slow. I got a tractor trailer behind me. He's keeping a pretty safe distance, but I think I'll probably end this video here so the pellets will make it. Have a good day, everybody.